Morning all. Well, we had a lot of southeast the past few days, and um, I'm really excited for the fishing that's coming up this week. Um, it's still early season, but with all the southeast that we had, we have to get some fish at least because it's just a change of season, and um, yeah, it's all about big fish and big cob from now on. That's what we're going to ta target and focus on. And this morning we're going to do the exact same thing that um, Stefan and I tried to do the other day when he got a 15 kilo cob. Um, today I'm going to focus on a big cob. We've got a misty morning and um, we battled to find live mullets this morning. I only managed to find two. It was really, <laughs> it wasn't easy. So, But we are going to look for a couple of more mullets here in the surf a bit later on. But um, we're going to do something different this morning. Busy rigging up a, a slide for a live mullet. And I just want to get my mullet. Got a real big mullet here. And I'm going to slide out towards the sandbank. And hopefully a cob will find it. And a big cob that is. Because I'm, I'm really keen to catch a big cob. I'm going to put the slide out leave the mullet and then I'm gonna take my horizon medium and I'm gonna throw some lure towards that bank for a big for a cob as well so while while this rod is in the water I can throw some lure and double my chances on a big cob and uh, yeah That's it. Nice big mullet going out. And let's go and catch him. Okay, just on the inside of that bank, really happy with the throw, and uh, now I have to get that live pilot out, yep. yes baby. So, 
just important when you're sliding a bait out just time it real good with the swells you see that your life bait goes over the swell and yeah there she goes small shakes vibrations and when there's a swell coming just pause and then shake again as it goes over Just hold that swell coming, shake again. Small vibrations. Water is a bit cold, it might be a reggae just today. And um, you know, maybe on the pushing tide I'll fish for a reggae. But for now I'm on the lookout for a cob. And as you see that your your bait is through the through the waves, you can start getting Longer pulls than bigger jerks, and then just get that life bait all the way down. And then, whew, formation looks really lacking for a big cob, or for any cob that for that matter. But for a big cob, it looks really lacking. It's a nice bank working at the back, and a really nice entrance to the right. I'm just on the inside of the bank, just on the outer right hand side of the bank. Your bigger cob tends to feed around the banks, just on the inside, just on the outside of the bank, and just around the banks. Your smaller cob, you'll find more on the bank. But that's why I'm keeping my bait close to the bank and not right on the bank, because I'm looking for a big cob. A smaller cob will chow there as well, but you're looking for that big cob, 100 pound fish. Okay, so how you can see the progress of your slide going in is as your bait will progress closer to the bank or further out, your line will pick up and that's how you'll know that your life bait or your bait is going out. If it's, if you can see it's going just straight down into the waves, you know it's not going out and it's not out far enough. I can see my line picking up now, so that means that the life bait is basically almost to the end or a three quarter down and three quarter down is also not too bad you're just going to leave the fish until it hits the stopper and um, it will hook it but i can see that it is i'm happy where it is at the moment it's lifting up quite far far at the back so looks good looks like we're all good and um, now it's just a waiting game a couple of more shakes for for good luck okay there you go so you put a bit of mona on my on my grinder to slide and um, it feels really strange using mona <laughs> I'm so used to fishing with braid and um, let's see all right guys there, there comes the backing a little bit of braid backing and might not top shot lacquer boys that's it catch me a cob Go first bite. Come on, what kind? Go, 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 eat it, boy. I don't know if it's a cob. Come on, man. Yeah, 
have to be patient till your fish swims away from you and you can feel it at the stopper. There we go, there we go, there we go. Come on. Okay, that fish must be on. Okay, okay first throw. And um, I was still busy prepping my other rod to, to throw a couple of lures towards that bank and here we are on. Not too sure if it's a cob, it's not shaking and um but then again i'm fishing mono on top opposed to prey that i'm used to but we'll have to see what kind this is it almost shook like it was a raggy but it might be a spotted gully or something as well but if it's a cob i'll be really happy but um at this stage i don't think it is a cob eh? Well, I reckon if it was a raggy, it would have bitten me off by now. Oh, it might be a cob. Might be, might be, might be. Come on, come on, boy. Feels quite heavy. The fish is really close now. It's on the on the lip. It's not over the bank yet, and um, yeah, still not completely sure if it's a spotted gully or a good sized cob. But it's 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 not a bad fish. I can tell you that. Come on, show yourself. Oh, I've got Pierre with me. You guys might have seen him. <laughs> Yeah, you. Yeah. Chance to wet the line only wet my throat. <laughs> um, you guys might remember Pierre. He went to Angola with me, and he phoned me, and he said he wants to come and come down and for spend a week with me and fish a bit. And um, I'll show you. I'll show his face to the camera a bit later on. But for now, he's playing. He's playing cameraman now. Got a pretty sight, <laughs>
Yes, the bull! <laughs> Good job, guys! That's why we came here! Oh, it's a burly tree. Watch you, watch you. Yes, guys! Yes, baby! Yeah. Guys, look at this fish. That's why we came here for this crop. And it had to happen on the first throw. I think, Pierre, it's your time to get a bait in. And um, let's get a proper fish. Guys, I said they're going to target the big crop. Well done, and man. That's just well the, done. That's what I'm talking about. And um, yeah, it happened. And um, guys, I absolutely love the summer. Done with the winter fishing. Let's get this fish back. Been out of the water for some time. Time to get it back. Okay guys, you can see I picked the fish up around the jaw plate, not in the gills, and then yeah, we're just going to get this beauty back in the water, and then this is what you should do with big top, safely release this fish, and not meant to be killed, beautiful fish, and then yeah, super stoked, yeah, first try, eh? beautiful, well done. Hard work getting a couple of liveies, but it paid off. Yeah, boy. Look at the camera. Just one last look before we release it. Yeah, hoo hoo! Beautiful. <laughs> yo, yo, ah, where is I? Yes. Oh, mooi man, bye, mooi man. Thank you, Well done. Well done, guys. You see how that guy, how that fish, blasted it off out of my hands. That's it. If you keep the fish close to the water, work in the water with it. I let it go. I check that measurements now. But I must estimate those that fish to be like 35 kilos. I'm not completely sure, but we'll check it on the measurement weight conversion app. And um, guys, super stoked. Thanks, Pierre. Great job, Papa. Pierre. Well done. <laughs> Thanks for the camera work. Uh, and um, yeah, let's get another bait in the water. Try and see if you can't catch another fish. Woo! Catch! Tigers push quite a lot, and um, I'm gonna throw for a raggy. I wish I had another live mullet because this the formation is just absolutely perfect for a cop on that bank. And it's just one of those days that that you just know. I just know if I had another live bait, I could put it on that bank. It's going to be a cop. Like definitely, it's going to be a cop. But unfortunately. I do not have that luxury or that privilege of another live bait. So I'm going to try and do the next best thing and fish for a raggy. Because I'm, I threw a couple of chocker baits on that bank. And 
it was just um, every throw is a barbell so it's not worth it wasting any more time on, on barbells and stuff so I'm gonna throw a big mackerel bait here and see if I can't catch a, a ragged tooth shark Rijk bij bijt. Here we go. Dat is zeker groot genoeg. Something inquiring. That is something. Pull it flat, man. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Yes, please. Yes, please. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. On yes, please. Hello, summer. Doesn't feel like the biggest fish, but I'll take it. Take like a toilet, brother. Big galley shark, I reckon about 25 to 28 kilos. 
Got a big bulky head on him. Let's go back with him. Look at that head. Big chunk of head on him. Yeah, we left the beach in such a hurry because um, we thought we were going to throw for some bronzes. Um, but yeah, I was in such a hurry that I forgot to close off my video. So, yeah, guys, what a lucky day it was. Um, tried something different, tried something new. First throw, got a decent sized cob. Um, I'm really stoked. Um, that was one of the plans of this season is to focus on big cob. And the first day that I really tried and really went out to go and fish for a big cob, um, got a fish of about, I don't know, probably 35 kilos or something, but nonetheless, doesn't matter if it's 30, 35, 37, what it is, it was a good fish, and um, I'm really, really stoked about that fish, but we're going to focus even more on the cob, we're only in the start of Cobtober, so there's going to be, hopefully, there's going to be some more cob, and I'm looking for a 100 pounder, I'm looking for a big cob like that one on lure, I would really love that. Uh, threw a couple of lures today unfortunately um, the bank was just a bit too far for the lures but i will find the right formation and i'm gonna hunt that fish and so yeah guys that brings us to the end of of the video and um, once again i just want to thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video please like the video um, the youtube algorithm really likes it when you guys like the videos it means a lot more for the channel if you guys like the videos so if you want to see more from Zuluk Fishing, consider subscribing. Please hit that subscribe button, click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified once I up upload a new video. So, you guys, cheers.